Hi everybody, Draw Ninja KC here, and I'm very excited today because I got this in the mail. It is my trade, my printed trade paperback to my comic book. The comic book I drew years ago, which is Samurai Guard. I drew them in issues. There were five issues. It was a five issue story arc, and then I um, found this great website that does on demand printing. And on demand printing is uh, for instance, back in the day when you published comics, you used to order like a minimum print run, which would be like 2,000 comics. So you have to actually shell out 2,000 comics, then try to sell them. But with print on demand, which Kablam does, is basically you send them the files for your comic book, and then um, you can place orders as the comic book sells, as opposed to having to pre-order 12,000 comic books already. So. Kablam is also uh, associated with IndiePlanet.com, and anything that's printed on Kab um, that's printed by Kablam can also be available on IndiePlanet.com. So, if you do um, have a comic book idea, you make a comic book, so on and so forth, you get it printed by Kablam. You also have a venue to sell it on. Of course, they will take a percentage of the sales. But um, I sent in all the files for Samurai Guard and. They sent me, what, what you basically have to do is order a copy. So the the copy that I ordered just arrived today, and I'm very excited about it. But I wanted to share this experience with you. I didn't even open it yet. It arrived today. I didn't even open it yet. But I want um, to open it to see how it looks and just basically, you know, I share the whole experience with you guys because I really appreciate you guys. So let's get to opening this thing, man. Let's go. Okay, let's get to this. Drum roll, please. Nope, how do I open this? Okay, um, how do I open this? Hop. Oh, right, here we go. Okay, so let's hard open it. Alright. Okay, the package. That comes inside a package. Okay, this is the Kablam information. This is their Kablam digital printing, comics, manga, trade paperbacks, and more. Kickstarter and Patreon discounts. Print your rewards with us and get 10% off. All right, so if you guys want to print your own comic books, and you don't have the money to shell out for like a thousand copies in the first printing, Print on demand is the way to go. And as I said, indieplanet.com is where they sell your comics once you submit the files. You should check them out. Um, these comic books can also can also be downloaded digitally. I know I know my comic book is available digitally on Comicology and also on Amazon. So if you want to, if you have an iPad and you want to read Samurai Guard, Comicology or Amazon.com and you shall have it. Okay, I'll also put the, the link to it in the comments in the information section below so you guys can check it out. All right, this is first run information right here. This is the first time I've ever seen this comic in a trade paperback because I've only, only seen it in like the, the uh, wow, another <laughs> all these packages. <laughs> First time I've seen it in a trade paperback form because I've only seen it in the individual issue forms. And ironically enough, uh, I just looked at the first issue the other day and I realized that I never put an issue number on the first issue, on, on the cover. It just says Samurai Guard, it says all the information, but it doesn't say the issue number. The issue number is on the inside cover uh, in the Indicia, but on the cover it doesn't say issue, what issue the number it is. That was so wild. <laughs> all right, okay. Liking what I see already. Right, this is the back of it. Right, this is the back of the uh -huh. of the issue. The Samurai Guard Volume One. Oh, it, oh, it feels the quality feels very good. This is awesome. I love the quality. This is the back of it. This is the ninja that I, I gotta tell you, I drew this ninja years ago, and I think I just wait. I'm looking for the the, the draw the sketch pad. Hold on a second. 
Yeah, looking for the sketch pad right here that this ninja was was uh, colored from. Look at that. All right, see that? <laughs> this is the ninja. This is the black and white version. And this was done years ago. And then I was able to color it and just kind of like, I called it just, honestly, just to have like a nice poster. But apparently it was good to um, to have for use for the back cover of this comic book. So, yeah. That's cool. I may still use it as a poster somewhere. I don't know. But uh, let me turn it up. And that, okay, here we go. All right. On the spine, we have uh, Kirk Abrigo, which is my name. This is what the, the K, the K in Drawing Ninja Casey, and focus that. The K in Drawing Ninja Casey is, is for Kirk. All right. And the name of the comic, Samurai Guard. And then. Draw Ninja Casey, baby. The spine is, I'm really like, I haven't even seen the front cover yet. I'm already loving what I'm seeing. So, oh, the front cover. Now, if you guys have seen my, um, the opening sequence to a lot of my videos, you, you probably like get a quick view of this. This looks amazing. This looks amazing. I'm so very happy with the results of this. This is like amazing. Okay, and then now one of the things about the inside cover. Here we go. I'm gonna just open this up. <laughs> okay, and uh, all the, the indicia information is there. Volume 1, Club and Comics, Summer Guards, Copyright, blah, 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 Trademark, USA, blah, 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 blah. All the copyright information. And this was the name of my comic book company, which is, you can see it there, Colburn Comics. And the story starts here. Now, here's the thing with the, 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 and this is why I'm hesitant to turn the first page because I really, I'm really nervous about what the interior, at least the first issue, is going to look like. Because with the first issue, I lost all the colored files. I have the black and white files, the, the files that has, you know, just the black and white. Um, drawings or whatever but I lost all the colored files so what I had to do was scan in the, the, the pages of the comic book and try to get them as sharp as possible and use them as these pages as, and so I'm just trying to uh, figure out how that transfers over to oh, this is really nice the quality feels so good very nice very nice all right, so let's 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 just get to see what this is all about. Whoa, man, this looks awesome. This looks amazing. Oh my god, forget it. This these guys got my business big time. These guys got my business big time. The the I scanned these these are like scanned pages from comic books. These are not like digital files. That I created on the um, on the computer and then sent them to. The, I had to scan the pages because I lost I lost the original files, the original digital files, and these look amazing. These look like actual comic books. I mean, it's a actual comic. I mean, they look like actual digital files. <laughs> so I'm very pleased with what you know what I'm seeing here. This is amazing. Amazing. All right, cause, all right, let's skip ahead for a second to the digital file. Like, you see how the digital file looks? And you see how a little bit, uh, a little less sharp than the digital files. But in some instances, you can hardly tell, like, the difference. It's, it's just really amazing. And I was a little worried about that. I was, I was thinking that maybe the digital files, in comparison to the uh, scanned comic book pages I figured that, that uh, comic book pages where it came out a little bit a little bit grainy but no man this actually worked out really well so so sorry for the light I'm shining the light on it here so I can move that light a little bit a little bit this way yeah I like it better this way <laughs> either way this um, from Kablam Printing gets a definitely like five stars. 
And this is a great story. Um, this comic book, when I put it when I printed it out, got great reviews. Um, I stopped printing it because, like, when when Marvel started putting out comic book movies, everybody just wanted to read comic book, comic um, superhero comic books. So, independent comic books um, really took a hit. And I started writing on the wall, so I, I decided to just stopped printing and I uh, started my own t-shirt printing company and that went well for years until I invented uh, till I invented the free fix which did, which did very well and so I um, sold the t-shirt printing company and then you know became an uber driver and oh this long story one of these is but I am thinking I'm, what I'm going to do is do a series on publishing comic books um, from beginning to end. Like, you know, for those people who are interested in publishing comic books, definitely want to do a, um, a series on that. And this, let me see, this issue, this is one of my favorite ones, is uh, I inked and did the, um, most of the artwork for everything. All of the all of the issues, but the first issue was the the ink the coloring was done uh, by a good friend of mine named Leon Allen, and I think it was the third issue. The third issue cover was uh, ink was drawn by me, but inked by a guy named Scott Goodell. This is the third issue. Scott did an amazing job with the inks on this. I really loved that, and. I think the first 13 pages of issue number four was inked by Scott, Scott Goodell, uh, which, again, really, really loved his work on this. It came out, like, amazing. And it just really shows you that, you know, having an inker really does make, uh, having a good inker really does make a difference. Because you can be a great artist. You can be a good artist and do your, your drawings very well. But an art, but an inker can actually make your artwork look better than you make it look if they ink it. So, having a great inker that that mesh that meshes with your style is very important. Like, see this right here. This is actually supposed to be a splash page. It's supposed to go from here. Like, this is the second part. It's supposed to actually go across this way. But um, I don't know. I guess how the pages were numbered. I have to read the whole book to make sure they have all the pages in. But um, it, it actually works as two different pages because there's one side and then it, you know you kind of scroll, scroll over and then there's the other side. So it actually works as, a, um, as separate pages. Uh, which, you know, I'm okay with. I'm definitely okay with that. But, um, yeah, man. So, this is it. This is the Samurai Guard trade paperback. Five issues. If you guys enjoyed what you see, go check it out. Uh, you can download it from Comicology.com or Amazon.com. And pretty soon also from IndiePlanet.com. I'm going to put the links below so that you guys will have no problems if you want to just download it. Or you can also, if you buy, if you go to IndiePlanet.com, you can, I believe you can download it. And also you can buy a hard copy um, as well. So, but I would suggest buying the hard copy if you're into the samurai genre. Because this, I mean, the printing that they did on this, the job that they did on this, I have to be honest with you. It's amazing. And uh, at the back here. One of the things that that I uh, that I did was I did a little pin up there. This this is actually the cover to issue number six, All right? Uh, but it's, I still have issue number six. Believe it or not, I just never published it. Issue number six, all written and drawn and everything. I just never published it. So maybe I'll you know publish it online. Who knows? And this was a pin up done by a good artist friend of mine named Cecil Jones. I really, I really like. This is one of the characters, one of the uh, the bad guys in the book. He did a stellar job with it, and I appreciated that. So, I decided to use it as a pinup in the uh, inside cover of this trade paperback. So, 
Yeah, very excited. Very excited. I can't wait to show this off. Well, I'm showing it off to you, but... <laughs> well, guys, thanks a lot for watching. This is this is um, a very happy day for me. I feel very blessed that uh, this came out even better than I expected. So, thanks for watching, and if you do get a chance, um, uh, check out the links below for where the comic book is being sold digitally and also in trade paperback and uh, check it out okay this is draw ninja casey saying what i see you next time no what <laughs> see you next time guys <laughs>